Ahoy, mateys! I um, grew a beard. Pretty proud of it. And I am showing you my pineapple patch. I made it. It's so cute. My little pineapple babies go all the way back there. And there's mint and um, a miracle berry bush and some papayas. And then these two Ohia beauties right here. This is like the magical, like sacred tree of the big island. And it's um, caught some, there's some fungus parasite coming in and killing it. And so it's like this really precious resource. It's really, really good burning wood, good building wood. Um, and it's dying off. But so currently there's a ton of it out here. A lot, all those sticks are Ohia. So there's like <sighs> awesome resources here because it is what it is. Um, I just wanted to like catch up, I guess. <laughs> I am finding that life changes and shifts really quickly for me. And I think life is going one direction. And I'm like, yeah, this totally makes sense. And then a little while down the road, it changes. And um, this is just like so cute right now. Look at this guy. Little peachy king. Little peachy dude. Do you like our new truck? Is it cool? Tigger. He's into it too. Look at my little pack. They just like stick with me. They're like, hey, yeah, dude, you're cool to hang out with. We get new, exciting places to hang out in all the time and vehicles and spaces. And we're real happy about it because. We like variety too. Variety. That is uh, just something I'm really coming into realizing that I need. I think I grew up in a way where we moved a lot and I had a lot of variety and now, <laughs> you know, for a while I was like, I just need stability. I've never had it and I've, I've had it. I. I, um, I think I was looking for stability within myself and I've been finding it. And in order to feel more stable, I feel like I need to move. <laughs> I feel like I need to like move around, get variety, go on the go. And maybe I'm feeling this because there's this like second wave of COVID fear that's like everybody cramped down. And I was feeling that too. I was, I was like, just stay at home. And I did for like two weeks. And I this like kind of experienced my own quarantine, my own two week quarantine sort of like we had community, but a lot of self time. And now I need to go. I need to fly. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to stay here forever. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I'm looking into finding ways to satisfy my needs. Um, my need is to run away, run away right now. And what am I running from? What am I running from? Why? Why do I need to run? Um, so I'm exploring that, you know, and I'm, I'm changing. I'm just like, I need a beard because I need something different. I changed the color. Like it was realistic yesterday and now it's pink. And, you know, making smart kind of tripping stay or go stay or go um this is what the fedex truck has been turning into i just want to show it off and um oh the front i love this <laughs> oh it's just so me like two major themes in my life heartbreak Either I'm a heartbreaker, or I'm feeling heartbroken, and I'm always thinking about love, and oh, and also like I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't actually give a fuck about so many things. Like, there's so many things that people bring up in the community, and they're like, "Oh, we're worried about this and this thing over here. And, oh, what about this?" And you know what? <sighs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sorry, am I not supposed to say that on YouTube a whole lot of times? 
Well, um, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is what I give a fuck about. Um, color, self-expression, um, love. I like to paint. I don't understand the purpose quite yet. I can feel the purpose being a lot of healing for myself. Um, while I was painting the white on this, I was also learning about God, about God energy in a new way, and reading this book called Conversations with God, and I really resonated with it, felt like the message was that we are all one, and we're all just separate parts, so we can feel and explore different parts of ourselves and... Um, that this is just a dream. I'm having my own dream. I'm creating my dream. Everybody's dream is real and true. And, uh, because you create your own re reality. And so if that's true, then every single person's dream is actually happening. And when you die, you know, some of you are going to go to the celestial kingdom and that's not my dream. And I'm in a different kind of heaven in a different reality. And, um, I think when I die, I'll explore something different. <laughs> and I kind of just see these bubbles as all these like individual people. And as I was painting the white in between, I felt like it was energy, like electric energy that actually connected us all. And really, it's actually just all one soul. That's what art is for me. It's exploring the spirit. It's exploring life. It's exploring the meaning. It's expressing emotions. And I share it because somehow I hope that somebody will resonate with the feelings that I'm having. And be excited and want to have the thing around. I like making the art, but I don't like keeping it around. I need it to move on. And I need to move on. And I might be back. And I love La Kea. And I'm going to stay here on the big island <laughs> till January sometime. And then I'm making plans to go back to the States and... Um, live life for me as I've been doing but I've learned a lot about me um and learned a lot about what's right for me and what fits and what doesn't fit and what actually motivates me and what I actually want to invest my time in and Locke has been great for giving me this huge variety of things to explore and absolute freedom to explore in fact I'm taking their truck and I'm going to explore for a couple days, um, and I'm gonna go on, I'm just gonna leave, and I'm gonna go explore, like, the island, like, travel the island, and see what it's like to travel, and see what it's like to travel mango style, take my kitties with me, and, um, just, like, see what happens, and test it out, and I think it's probably, like, a smart way to learn how to travel, because I really want to go to the States and buy, I think, a truck, and travel, the states I just want to I needed to I talked about it before I came to Hawaii I got that out of my system um I don't think it's my home isn't that funny <laughs> it could be it could be my long-term home and I've made a large investment in energy here um but I think it is a hub I think it's a hub for all my friends and loves to come and heal and explore and some people stay and live it's a great commune to be a part of it is the number one community that I have witnessed um, and made friends with and been at on the whole big island, La Akea. Somehow I got really lucky and came to the number one spot. And uh, I feel called to like tell you all. <laughs> this is a great place. You should come here if you want to. And if you want to come to Hawaii, this is the spot. Come stay here. Um, yep. Anyways, so... 
On to sunsets. <sighs> and clouds. I really need to paint the clouds. That's what I'm going to go do on my vacation. I'm going to go paint clouds. And find things like this as canvas. I got a couple. I got one canvas that I started yesterday. Ugh. Um, the black stuff is like the lava rock. There's a lot of like, just like fresh lava rock. And then you look out into the sky and this is not done yet. Going to evolve. And a door. I found this door. It's a nice door. I cleaned it up. It was like, it had mold growing all over it, but it's um, metal. So it's a good door. I'm going to paint on it. And I think like, I feel called to paint these things, paint my heart, paint my soul, but paint it on things that are useful. Okay, canvases are not useful. They don't do anything. They are pretty on the wall. The door, it opens and closes. It's like more significant. The car drives around. It gets seen, you know? And the guitar case, like, I actually was inspired to do the car case, the guitar case because I was riding my bicycle with the guitar and I, it's like big and black, not very flashy, not very visible. You want to be visible as a bicycle is, so... I was like, I'm gonna paint this bright. And then I was like, well, I really, really, I'm dying. I'm dying to paint the clouds. I'm dying to paint the clouds. In fact, I've been dying to paint the clouds since, um, I guess it's been like two years. I started painting some clouds and then that's when this whole thing started when I started realizing I needed to quit my last life and get out. And I feel like right now it's because I wasn't doing the things I really wanted to do, paint clouds, make bread, eat pizza, smoke weed. Um, yes, that's happening. And it's been happening for a couple of months and I've been finding this beautiful balance. Um, let's talk about that for a moment because it's something that scares a lot of people. The word addiction, and I felt like I had been addicted before. And really I'm looking at it and it wasn't. It was just like the fear of judgment that was holding me back from really like diving into a plant medicine that is quite useful for me. I'm finding a lot of balance. I was really, really struggling the first couple months I was here because I felt like I wasn't getting enough love and I wasn't getting my needs quite met. I was kind of going crazy. And then I um, opened myself back up to um, plant medicines. And I'm finding a really sweet balance with cannabis. Um, Santa Maria is actually how I think of her um, and we're becoming really good friends and learning how to live safely. It's not legal in the rest of the United States. So finding balance with that, um, she's helping me along quite well. Uh, helping me really like express myself. That's what's challenging. Like obviously I've painted and I know how to do that, but like expressing your feelings is hard. Expressing my feelings is really, really hard sometimes. And um, I guess cause I'm just like afraid to do it. And what I really want to do, like, for example, is like wear a beard often and I'm afraid to, and like I had jobs. I wanted to like go wear a beard at a job, but I was afraid to ask anybody if I could wear a beard. You know what? As an artist, I can wear a beard every day I want. And that's what I'm looking at doing. Like here I am, Mingo. <laughs> trying to be an artist again. I can't let it go. I've tried to let it go. You know, dad told me long ago, like, oh, I'll travel when you're older. I'm like, I can't. No. Nope. I can't get a career. I can get a career later. I have to do this now. <laughs> and I think that it's all going to be okay. When I'm old and I got nothing, I can just come back here and I will have friends. I'm going to go make friends. And I know that all of the friends and all the family that I make is going to be what I need to support myself throughout my life. Because I'm going to support them and they're going to support me. And this is a life of service and freedom. <sighs> wow. Confessions of a mango. I love you guys. Bye.